this portion i am discussing you how to set up project for in your dotnet application okay so i start uh, first of all if you are starting dotnet seek application you need to set up dotnet dotnet 6 sdk download and here is the link i am using the mac that is called i downloaded this and if you are using windows then you can download 86 or 64 version of your windows okay so in a, i am using jetbench rider you can use visual studio or jetbench rider any editor so inside our editor i create a new and first of all need to create an empty project that is uh, uh, our suppose university app okay so first of all i am creating a empty project university app then need to create new window so the solution is ready okay okay so inside our solution i create a new project for api project and in our uh, that is spnet code web application and you must when you are using dotnet you must uh, write all your project in inside the src folder okay so i am creating so first of all i create some folder for our understanding uh, new solution folder that are src folder for write our all code here and also create another folder new solution folder that is test where we write our test code okay so uh, when you are uh, adding uh, some folder in your solution that means that not means the the directory already created okay if you go to my uh, project folder and you see um, no folder is created this folder only for uh, developer uh, see their code in a structure okay so inside our src i create a new project that is a spinet code web application and and you see the framework version it uh, net 6.0 we also added docker support for linux you can disable it and in a future time you add it but when you are developing new application uh, you, you added the linux okay so the naming convention and the folder structure src and naming convention is university app dot api okay so it's our project name then create our project So the project is created and we also created some more project for our work we are using layer architecture that cause our business logic layer and database layer also needed so another project we are getting a class library that is the university app dot dll and also you must ensure it it's also present in the src folder so create the class library so the class library is created and need to delete the file delete it okay so now i create another folder new another project new project that is also another class library that is university app.dll okay so inside the src folder so i now write create and also delete the class file okay so this project is created but you see some red color also present they are they are showing some error but it's not error because uh, it's some error because need to some import reference okay web builder okay 
so if I rebuild our solution build build solution okay the build successfully but you see that my editor is showing some error because not all editor now fully supported in dotnet 6 okay so i think some i created some problem and then i delete the project and need to create again and when inside src you see the api project also present there i will click to bin folder and need to src add new project sp not core web application not empty that is web api so that i forget to create university app dot api okay so now i create this application okay so it's now restoring something and program file you see some dependency issue i add the dependency and weather forecast some date time issue and in controller see some logger dependency and all dependency is loaded successfully in dotnet 6 and uh, dotnet uh, 6 version has some changes come uh, before you are working in any version of c sharp you see we write every code inside the namespace uh, this way but in new version some changes has come so you not to write every every code inside the uh, inside between the angle bracket of namespace okay so now you can write your namespace only this way so removing this and you can write semicolon that is enough for you to set up your namespaces okay this is a new feature in c sharp version so before move anything we first need to uh, run our code and see if everything is working fine or not application initializing in debugger and Okay. Hello, hello. So I see the code is working, application is working perfectly in 7017 port. If I try it out and execute, you see data also coming there. That is our project is working perfectly. So now we need to change something that is our project. We can't add this project in git repo so we need to add some git ignore file and others file so new solution folder if i add that is if i write our solution item item solution item another folder for our so solution uh, dependent code then i add uh, add existing item sorry no need uh, that is new item new scratch file that is git ignore i added there okay so if this way add new scratch file ignore lang and you see some several file also present there if i search readme readme file is not present okay so i add git ignore and save it so now uh, we need to initialize our git in terminal uh, git init you see the empty git uh, file is present there okay so if i go to our project uh, right click and reveal in finder i'm i'm using two 
active uh, another monitor that is code comes there and you see our project folder structure if i go to my project and university app and src and you see and all the code is present there is a src folder we need to create another folder for test when you are writing test code this area and uh, view as a list okay so this is our folder structure when you are developing any application .NET. and also another folder is present there that is the dot git folder okay so project setup is done so we need to write git status you see some mac dependency or id dependency folder also present there so we need to change it so we going to the we need a git ignore file git ignore has a uh, fantastic website git ignore.io and we write spnet core then call then use visual studio then add visual studio code and resharper that is jetbrains jetbrains all uh, mac os okay now write windows and now write linux okay so i am added some editor that cause it create a git ignore file for us okay so i create another file here dot git ignore in our editor i create a touch dot git ignore and also need another file that is readme.md so two file is added if i click file system and you see git ignore is present there and i need to copy everything and paste is the git ignore file okay so git ignore file is added now and our readme file we need to write something about our application so i write this is our first ASP.NET Core 6.0 application hmm. application we used service repository pattern for impl implementing our application okay so I write something in git ignore and you see the git ignore and readme file is added there. If I write uh, if clean and git status again and you see now the uh, mac dependency or id dependency folder is gone there. Okay so I add git add dot git commit hyphen m. Okay so initial project setup done. So now I need to push our application in github, I write github.com and create a new spnet core 6.0 university app, okay, so university app, okay, test app, test application, okay but demo app demo application application okay so i create this and need to write create repository and need to add the remote branch so git remote add okay now git push origin main are you yes rsa edit okay so if i go to browser and reload our page and you see our project setup is completed done and also our readme file also present there okay so next portion of our series uh, we developing our um, uh, docker for postgres then you understand properly how can we set up docker 
for uh, our uh, database configuration issue okay bye bye